Hey y'all, hey, 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 Gangster Chef here in the Gangster Chef's Kitchen where I teach you how you can fall in love with yourself in your own damn kitchen. Oh, today, Lord have mercy, today, oh Lord T, today I'm gonna be teaching you how to make something very familiar, but gangster. That's right, we are gonna make Southern style cabbage, but we gonna add a twist. We gonna make it California style Southern catch. Oh, y'all, mm, get ready. Let's get gangsta in the kitchen. Okay, so what you're going to need is the star of the show. We're going to need some cabbage. Get one head of cabbage. We're going to use white onion. We're going to use red onion. We're going to use some mushrooms. Yeah. We're going to use some shrimp. Some shrimps, honey. These are uh, 16 twenties. Okay. And then we're gonna use some bacon, Lord have mercy, that's the Southern style. Bacon, we're gonna use some sausage here, and do it sausage, y'all, that's right. Then we're gonna add some Cabrini Trinity. Y'all know them peppers Cabrini loves to add. And then, oh, we're gonna add some of my amazing oil. Oh, that's the gangster chili oil right there, y'all. Y'all see that? Woohoo! y'all ready? Let's make it. Okay, y'all, so before I start making the dish, I want to give a shout out to uh, Chef A.B. Uh, grilling and chilling with A.B., or is it cooking and grilling and chilling with A.B., Chef A.B. on YouTube, y'all. This man is so fabulous. I love him. I love watching his dishes, and he just makes it, he just even makes me feel confident in the kitchen, and you know, I'm already confident, but A.B., thank you, honey. Thank you so much, Chef A.B. So, Chef A.B. made a Southern style cabbage. Ooh, he made it look so good. But then, Chef A.B., I'm gonna add a little gangster to it. Gotta add some peppers to it. Gotta add the California thing to it, the mushrooms and, you know, things like that. So, uh, let's get ready, y'all. Let's make some Southern California style cabbage. Mm. All right, y'all, so the first thing I'm gonna do is cook my bacon. I'm gonna get the bacon cooking in here and then after the bacon starts getting a little charred, I'm gonna add the sausage to it so I can get that uh, toasty stuff at the bottom. I'm gonna add a little garlic to this and some onion and then I'm gonna put it aside because for the most part this is gonna be a vegetarian dish or pescatarian and then I'm gonna add this over here for me. I'm gonna add a little meat for me but for the most part those of you that are watching if you want to have it be um, uh, uh, vegetarian slash pescatarian hence the shrimp then um, just cook it separate if your family, some people in your family do not eat meat, okay? So, that's that. Okay, so while the bacon is doing its thing, I'm gonna take my shrimp and put them on a, on a sheet pan, and I'm going to put them in the oven on broil and have them pre-cooking as well. It's on broil, people, okay? Make sure you get all that oil off of there, that's it gangster oil that I'm going to show y'all how to make tomorrow or in the next video. So, shrimp going in the oven on broil, okay? Okay, guys, so here it is, right? I'm going to turn my fire off and I'm going to strain all of that grease off of there and I'm going to sit it aside, okay? Okay, guys, so let's do that. And then say, put your skillet aside, okay? Because we're going to use the skillet later. Mmm, yum, mm, yum. Ooh, that's good. Lord have mercy. Mmm, that's like some good old bacon. Mmm, bacon, bacon, bacon. All right. Now, you notice? So we're not going to be using all of this oil. And I'm going to let it sit here and drain off as much of it as it can. Now, I could use a paper towel, but I think this is better. Okay. All right, people. It's time to get your shrimp out the oven. Look at that. Beautiful. Okay, guys. So, my shrimp are done. My sausage is done. Mm. Oh, my God. Mm. <laughs> oh, Lord. Lord. Okay. So, now it's time to make the amazing California Southern style cabbage. Okay, here we go. Okay guys, so listen, everything is gonna be cut Julienne style. 
okay? I don't want, I don't like thick, um, that's a little bit too thick, okay? Hold on. So I'm going really, really thin. Y'all see that? Okay. I want you to hold your knife really close to it so you can get it kind of like shaved. It's gonna look like pasta, actually. Okay, keep your fingers in, people. You don't wanna draw back enough, especially if you're working with a really sharp knife. I don't want chunks in my cabbage. I want it to be like fine spaghetti. Okay, so what you can do, can y'all see that? Is you start here really close. Okay, and that's how you get. And of course, that core, you gotta go back in there and you know, do some things, but this is how you get it kind of like spaghetti style. If you are not gonna be using um, like a food processor or a um, mandolin or something like that, just keep your knife close, okay? When you get close to here, hold on to yourself, Lord have mercy. All right, because I have drawn back enough before. All right, let's do it. I forgot to show you guys, even my garlic is gonna be in slices, okay? And remember, again, keep your fingers close, okay? Um, unless you're using a food processor. Sometimes I just like to become one with my food, or most times. So you, you very rarely will see me using a food processor. Yes, I know it, it, it cuts the time trust me in half but um this is kind of like my meditative space so um this is why i do it this way and this is why i'm teaching it to you this way because it's a time for you to bond with yourself and fall in love with yourself in your own damn kitchen okay all right just keep your nubs there and let your fingers hold that that knife away from you can y'all see that Lord, I hope so. I got a camera crew coming. It's coming. All right. So I'm using about four or five garlic cloves, okay? Because I like garlic. And it has a lovely taste, especially when it's in strips like this. And you get it to be crispy. Ooh, Lord. All right. So that's it. All right, let's make some cabbage, y'all. Okay, y'all. So I had somebody to ask me, Cabrini, how can you make a simple dish like cabbage and, and uh, uh, bacon appear to be so complicated? Well, I don't know. That's just what I do. But if you follow me, it ain't really complicated. The most complicated part is the prep. And I didn't prep this shit before I came on, so that's the part that's a little more time consuming. So we're ready now. And now it's gonna go like boom, boom, boom. Y'all ready? Boom, boom, boom. Okay, y'all, I'm down to the last corner of my oil, Lord have mercy. I made this oil. It's, um, I roasted the garlic for two hours in extra virgin olive oil, right? Well, let it simmer together. And then I added my chili. Y'all know gotta add some heat to it. But it's not hot, it's flavorful. Mm, I can't wait to show y'all how to make it. Mm, mm. All right, but that's all I got. That's all I got left. I need to bring y'all over here. Hold, hold on. Come, I did a little boop boop. So that's about a tablespoon and a half. Hold on. Y'all see that? Okay. Now, I'm gonna turn my fire on. And I'm gonna add first. I want y'all to tell me what should I add first. Y'all should already know. All the peppers are going in first. Because the peppers are gonna take longer to um, cook down than any of these other uh, uh, herbs or uh, vegetables. The onion is julienne, so it's very thin. The cabbage, we already know. So the peppers are the most, the one that's gonna take the longest, okay? So I'm gonna let this get hot, and then we're gonna boom, boom, boom. Okay, y'all. Now, here's the other thing. <coughs> Green peppers take even longer to cook. I don't know if you guys know, but the green pepper is a foundation 
to all the other peppers. Green pepper starts off green, which means it ain't ripe ready yet. And then all the other peppers come. Now, I don't know how the hell they get to the colors, but I'm gonna check out and find out. But in the meantime, I'm gonna let them do their thing for about a minute. I'm gonna let them get soft and wiggly. Then I'm gonna add my garlic and that's gonna come together. Then I'm gonna add the red onion and the white onion come together. Woo! Okay, y'all got that? Okay guys, we're adding our garlic. That's just so beautiful, Lord of mercy. Y'all should smell this. Woo! Can y'all smell it? Let me, can, can y'all smell that? Okay. Now, the only thing I'm gonna do is just sprinkle a, a dash of salt. And that's just gonna wake up the flavors. Um, okay. Now, we get nice and toasty, y'all. Let me add the onion. Shall we the rights to Robert Glasper in the background. Y'all see that? All right, so they're gonna all come together for a minute. Because I want them to talk to each other. I want all their flavors to come together with each other so that when I introduce the cabbage, they're, they're gonna say, hey, boo, come on up in here and be with us. Cause you know, you shape like us and everything and we're gonna make you taste good. So that's what's gonna happen. All right? So I'll be right back. Okay guys, so look, everybody is looking nice and crispy and beautiful. So I always teach you, if you are following me, to keep um, your own, this is my vegetable stock I made a couple of videos ago. I didn't, say a I didn't say a couple of years ago, I said a couple of videos ago. So it's still good. So this is what I'm gonna use to, when it gets dry, to add some flavor um, to it, okay? So if you have any kind of chicken stock or some uh, vegetable because again this is going to be pescatarian and you know some some, some meat over there <clears throat> I'm using vegetable stock okay all right y'all we add cabbage Woo yeah sir yeah. all y'all hear him talking what you doing up in here it's all right she can come okay okay What's been going on? Alright. Now remember, a full head of cabbage ain't gonna be nothing once it cuts down, okay? Cabbage is also 67% water. So I may not need to add the stock, but I am prepared. And then after I do this, we're gonna add the mushrooms, which is the last person, the last vegetable, because you know, it's gonna take but a minute. Okay. This is California cabbage, southern style, when I add the bacon and the uh, uh, sausage. All right, so let me cook down and I'm gonna add the rest, okay? Okay, guys. You see how it's cooked down? Okay, I'm adding more. Okay guys, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna add the mushrooms. And 
I don't know if I've mentioned to you, and if those of you, this is your first time watching. So I sliced my mushrooms, right? But here's what I want you to remember. Do not wash your mushrooms. Wipe them off. Do not wash your mushrooms, people. Because when you wash them, they become waterlogged. I'm just saying. Don't do it. Just wipe them off. They come from the earth. You need that earthiness. Okay? All right, y'all. It's time to add the seasoning. Now, look at this. I want y'all. Can y'all see this? This is the Gangster Chef seasoning. Do y'all see that? I have so many amazing flavors up in here. Y'all see? Can y'all? Oh, wait a minute. Can y'all see that? Let me see. Let me tap. Tap on there like that. Okay, so now, Chef AB, you know, he layered his flavors all throughout. I'm scared. So, you know, I'm going to just sprinkle and taste, sprinkle and taste, okay? But the way he did it looked fabulous too, but you know, I'm just saying, I'm, I'm kind of scared. Y'all know I don't get scared, but I was scared. Okay, cause I don't wanna, I can always dial it up, but I can't take it out, okay? So, and cabbage has a lovely flavor of its own. So I want that cabbage and the peppers to have their own flavor. And when Chef A.B. did his, um, you know, he just basically let the cabbage rule. I'm adding, adding other flavors, so I want to make sure that I don't drown those flavors out, okay? Which, I don't know why I can't just be simplistic and just add some basic shit. But it ain't in my DNA, people. So I'll just take what other chefs do and, and, and add my shit to it. All right, y'all. So, it's almost ready. And listen, like Chef uh, 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 AB said, you can have different levels of cabbage. You can cut it off at a certain point and have more crunch, like a salad crunch. You can cook it till it's dead and it's just like some mushness, or you can put it right here and have a little crunch um, when you're eating it, okay? So right now, I'm gonna twirl it around, let it sit for one more minute, and cut the fire off, okay? Okay, y'all remember the skillet I left off to the side, right? All right, so here is the Gangster, California. Southern. Cabbage. Do y'all see that? All right, I'll be back with both of them plated up for you so I can eat it in front of you. Oh Lord, y'all know I'm always saying Lordy, 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 Lordy. Oh my God, I just have to do, y'all know it's time to say cheese. It's time to say cheese. 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 Oh wait, let's get the picture right. Okay. Mm. Okay, no. Wait a minute, unlock. Okay, wait. Can y'all, y'all, I'm trying to get the right focus. Oh, there it is. Where's the money shot? Oh, uh-huh. Nope, that ain't it. Okay, let's see. Jesus. There it is. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, la la. This is pescatarian cabbage and mushrooms. Mm. This ain't the Southern style. Oh, y'all ready for the Southern style? What? Southern style. California Southern style. Look at that. Cheese. 
Oh, y'all know I had to add some shrimp. The pescatarian couldn't just get the shrimp. I needed some shrimp too. All right, let's taste. Let's taste. Oh Lord, look at that. Mmm. Okay, wait, I gotta get a piece of bacon up on there. Oh Lord. Oh my God. Listen. Oh Lord have mercy. Sorry y'all, I got cut off. Listen. Uh. Southern style is amazing. And mm, yum, yum. here's the thing. I don't have to taste pescatarian because Mm. Mm. Oh my lord. This is so good. Mm. Yeah, let me tell you something. When you make this dish, oh, if you just take your time, Lord. Get your good music. Y'all know I always have some good music behind me. Make sure ain't nobody in the house to disturb you. And just fall in love with yourself in your kitchen. Just take your time and make an amazing dish that's healthy for you. I use nothing but organic ingredients. My oils are absolutely 100% grapeseed, avocado, extra virgin olive oil. Even my butters are grass-fed. So... Um, if you eat right, mm, Lord, if you think right, that is the key, don't let that chitty chitty chat chat get in your head. It still tries to come for me. If you drink, drink right. When you do all those things, you can't help but feel right. It is the gangster's law. I love y'all. Remember to go on in the bathroom and mwah, kiss yourself and know. And that's a kiss from me to you. I'll see you in the next video. Okay, so that was such an amazing dish. And I want to thank Chef, Chef AB for all that he does with all of his um, uh, dedication to what we do as, <clears throat> as people that love to cook and love to teach you how to cook. So Chef B, Chef AB, how can I collab with you and we could cook together? in your kitchen and in my kitchen virtually. Woohoo! Now that would be gangster. So what you think? Hit me up or I'm gonna call your people. Have your people call my people. My people is me and I don't know if your people is you, but let's see if we could uh, bring some love into other people's kitchen together. Ooh, some black love, baby. Now the white people that watch, we love you too. So we're gonna bring some black love into your white kitchen too. That's gonna be fabulous because we love everybody. And if you can see all the collabs that he does, we, we have no, no, uh, it, no other issues, except as black folks, we love cooking. And so Chef AB, so what you think? Can I get gangster with you in your kitchen? Let me know.